Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your general reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing well, Gemini. So this is for my people who have Gemini in their sun, moon, Venus, or rising, okay? This message may resonate with you. I do ask that you only take what resonates and leave what does not. And if you feel like the message simply isn't for you, that is okay. You're always welcome to watch my other readings here on my channel, okay? So let's get started, Gemini. I've missed you guys. How have you guys been doing? Gemini, 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 Gemini. Sun, moon, Venus, or rising. What's going on with my Geminis? What is going on with my Geminis? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, you have the Hermit. Interesting. The Hermit is an isolation card. Someone who's healing, recovering, self-discovering. Let me see what you're doing, Gemini. Page of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're digging. I feel like you're digging up something here. Are you researching something? For the Hermit, it's a discovering card. So you can be in the dark about something. So you're trying to you're trying to find something out. You're trying to um, bring something to light, Gemini. I feel like that's what it's almost like I see you, you know, in your study room. You have your you're seated at your desk. Um, you have your uh, your uh, desk lamp on. Um, or your study light on and you're reading this book, okay? You're like looking through something, okay? Or looking at something intently. Um, when I clarify the Hermit, we got the Page of Cups, Three of Swords, and the, and the Eight of Pentacles. So the Page of Cups, pages represents communication. You're looking at someone who you have a crush on or someone who you have romantic feelings for. There's some sort of admiration here. Sorry if my nose sounds stuffy. Um, but there's some sort of admiration here with the Page of Cups, someone who you would like to share your romantic feelings with, Gemini. Um, you may not be the best at expressing your emotions. I know, Geminis, Gemini, you guys are an air sign. Typically, air signs are very intelligent people, very uh, sharp-minded and sharp-mouthed, right? They're excellent communicators, but perhaps you're good at you know, getting your point across, but you're not the best at emotionally expressing yourself. There is a difference, right? Um, but the Page of Cups, it's an, it's an admirer. Sometimes though, the Page of Cups can be seen as someone who communicates immaturely. So maybe you need to write down your feelings. Whoever it is that you want to talk to, Gemini, um, feel free to reverse the roles. If you're not the one who's who's trying to do this, Gemini, then it's most likely someone who's connected to you, okay, if this is your reading. But um, I feel like for most people, this is what you're doing, okay? But feel free to reverse it. Maybe um, I want to suggest a method. If you're not the best at emotionally being vulnerable, there's nothing wrong with being vulnerable, we all need to be vulnerable, okay? We're not, we have a heart, for goodness sakes. We have a heart, we have a mind, we have our body, our soul. We're meant to express ourselves, okay? But not everyone's good at that or not everyone is used to doing that. So perhaps, Gemini, what you can do is maybe write it down, write your thoughts out or, um, yeah, write it out. And then when you call them, you can read to them that letter um, or you can send them the letter, send them the letter, send them the message, or simply call them and read it out to them. I think that's going to be very romantic. Clarify the page of cups. Clarify the page of cups. Clarify the page of cups. Oops, oops, that was my hand. Clarify the page of cups. Clarify the Page of Cups. Yeah, you have the Chariot. 
and then on the back you have the Hierophant. So the strength is all about overcoming difficulties. I told you guys, for many of you, by you being this emotionally expressive, this is you overcoming a big fear, a big fear of yours, you know, the fear of being vulnerable, the fear of showing your emotional side, you know, expressing your sensitivity. Um, there's nothing to fear about that, Gemini. You know, everyone, everyone has a vulnerable side. Everyone has their sensitivities. Um, it's just a matter of how comfortable we feel expressing it to whom, right? Most times you want to be vulnerable with people who you trust because you don't want to get taken advantage of. That's where the fear comes in. Many people are fearful of being vulnerable because they don't want to, you know, be mis misused, misunderstood, or simply taken, taken advantage of. So the fact that you even want to open your heart to someone, I feel like it's because you do trust this person or you've grown to trust this individual so follow your heart if if your heart is telling you to trust this person if your heart is telling you look you've liked this person for a long time you see that they are a good person you know you, you sort of tested them out then give it a go okay um but yeah with the strength here i feel like this is one of your fears that you're going to be overcoming when you speak to this person and you have the chariot that's here the chariot is all about uh forward movement it could, it could also be a travel card you some of you may travel at a distance um to speak to this individual but this is all about moving forward even if you're not physically traveling to this person there's action here <clears throat> i think i'm getting sick <laughs> there's action here with the chariot okay you're not just waiting for this individual anymore you're taking action you're trying to move things forward by communicating with them and here you have the hierophant so gemini you may be religious or you have conventional views you may be the kind of person who sort of sticks to what you know you stick to your traditions um you know, you may just like to follow the crowd. Following the crowd, there's nothing wrong with doing that, but there will come a time in life where you do need to stand out, where you do need to embrace and express and show the world your uniqueness. Um, some of you, the Hierophant is also a marriage card. Okay, it's also a marriage card. So some of you could have... Um, you know, this idea in your mind that you do want to marry this person. Let's see why the Hierophant is here. I feel like it's very significant. Clarify the Hierophant. Oh, yeah. You have the Empress, okay? Um, I feel like many of you do want marriage. You want to solidify this connection, right? You want to officialize it. The Hierophant is a religious figure, a, a counselor, an advisor. Um, the Hierophant also talks about marriage. It also talks about forgiveness. Okay, so Gemini, perhaps you could be asking this person for forgiveness, okay? Um, but the Empress is here. This is someone who you greatly admired, okay? When someone sees you as an empress, they really do think highly of you. The empress is the most beautiful woman in the deck, male or female, a male can carry this energy. Um, the empress is the most powerful woman in the deck as well. The empress, she is secure, stable, abundant. She is motherly, she is loving, kind, nurturing, understanding. This is also the energy of the Divine Feminine, okay? This is a very significant individual who I feel you want forgiveness from. You want forgiveness. Some of you may even want to want to tie the knot with this individual. Tell us more about the Hierophant. And here on the back of the deck, you have the Ace of Cups, a divine gift of a new beginning. Sometimes the Ace of Cups can also talk about a second chance asking for the divine to give you a second chance with someone clarify the hierophant why is this person concerned let me see yeah you want forgiveness you want forgiveness the five of wands is a fight it's conflict i feel like gemini 
um, you lost your cool with this individual. You could have even went against this person. There was a lot of conflict, chaos, uh, could even be like competition and drama here. You did this person wrong and you acknowledge that. I feel like you really want their forgiveness. But you know, the Empress is such a beautifully spirited person. So this is someone who's very understanding. So just go for it, Gemini. Clarify the Three of Swords. Oh, you guys, my nose is acting up all of a sudden. I feel like sneezing. Excuse me, you guys. Clarify the Three of Swords. Page of Swords. Nine of Swords. So the Three of Swords, this card does represent heartbreak. And I just heard disappointment as well. When I clarify the Three of Swords, we got the Page of Swords and the Nine of Swords. You're in a lot of um, agony here, Gemini. You're in a lot of agony. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, you guys. My goodness. Excuse me, I'm sorry if I scared you, but you're in a, it's like you're grieving, I feel. Um, you're so hesitant to talk to this person, but Gemini, you know, things have to move forward. At least get things off your chest, talk to them about it. I would rather live my life knowing that I tried, even if it didn't work out, at least I know that I tried, than living my life full of regrets because I didn't try, because I didn't take a risk. You know, living life wondering what if, what if I did communicate with that person? What if I did express my feelings to them? You know, it's not, well, I mean, you can do what you want, but it's just not a good way to live life, constantly questioning what if, what if, what if. At least if you give it a try, you'll know. And even if you don't get the outcome that you want, at least you're able to release it. You already told them how you felt. You tried to move things forward. If they say no, well, at least you tried. And it's no longer your burden. You know? And so um, I feel like you're really watching this person, Gemini. And, and some of you, you may even be seeing what you missed out on. I feel like you see, I feel like this empress here had a glow up. Not everyone can be the empress. It's not an easy title that's just given to people. The empress faces many challenges, many adversity in her life, but she overcomes them all and she comes out redeemed and she blossoms into the empress. So I feel like you've recognized this person's glow up. You've, you've recognized their maturity You've recognized positive changes in their life. You you like to spy on this person, Gemini. Don't tell me you don't because, excuse me, don't tell me you don't because the Page of Swords is here. Page of Swords is a big spying card. Many of you, you want to call this person. You want to give them that message. And it's almost like you're looking, you're grieving over this person as if they've passed away. They're still here. Why are you grieving? They are still here. You can't change the past, but you can surely change the future. If things weren't, if things didn't work out in the past, Gemini, things, things could work out in the future. If you make changes now in the present. You can get the outcome that you want with this person in the future. You're looking at this person like the one that got away. They're not as far away from you as you think they are, Gemini. They're not as far, uh, far away as you think they are. They are literally one phone call away. Clarify the Three of Swords. Yeah, this Three of Swords, 
was caused by third party interference. Look at this. Five of Swords is defeat, a lack of success, and Three of Pentacles. A third part, a third party successfully came between you and this person. It's almost like I'm seeing this person. You literally see three people here and three people here. I feel like this is the third party smirking, looking at the two of you being in defeat. Even here, you see the third party standing on a stool, pointing a flashlight at the two of you. You can't change the past, but you know what you can do? Show this third party that they were not all that successful. So whatever issue, whatever conflict this third party caused the two of you, by you trying to work things out with this individual, it will show this third party that they were not successful in separating the two of you. But by you not speaking to this person and trying to resolve it, it gives this third party all the ego boost because they feel happy. Look at the smirk on their face. They feel happy. They feel satisfied by what they did to the two of you. I want you to snatch this smirk out of their face. I want you to snatch it out of them, off their face by reconciling with this person. It's gonna bruise this third party's ego because they'll realize that they did not win, that they did not defeat the two of you. <laughs> this third party could be anyone. It could have been a lover. Maybe you had someone on the side. It could have been a controlling mother, auntie, grandmother, uncle, grandpa. It could have been um, a toxic friend. Third parties can be anyone, but that's really where the heartbreak came in. Look, look what's on the back of the deck, two of cups. There was so much, I feel like this was such a passionate soulmate connection. Two of cups is even my big twin flame card. This particular deck with this particular image, it just screams twin flame. You see the fire, the lion. Both of you had such intense love for each other. And of course, a love this powerful, a third party will always, there will always be a wicked, dark spirited individual who will try to destroy love. Darkness does not, lo does not like love because love is light. And there are many bitter, miserable, low vibrational, malicious, evil, envious, jealous people who I feel this third party was. Who came between the two of you because they could not stand the pure love, the purity, the innocence of this love between the two of you. They couldn't stand it, so they sought to destroy it. But you know one thing that I do know? Darkness overcomes light. I mean, light overcomes darkness. Excuse me. Darkness does not overcome light. Never. It, it never will. Light overcomes darkness. Always. Light overcomes darkness. Love is the strongest force in the universe. Love overcomes all. Nine of Swords. Clarify the 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 Nine of Swords. Yeah, Nine of Swords is having sleepless nights, being in this mental prison here. You're in distress. The Emperor, the Emperor is uh, the energy of the Divine Masculine. 
you have the empress and the emperor here this was a beautiful twin flame connection even if you don't care for the twin flame connection this was a beautiful passionate soulmate connection two people who were brought together for a significant reason the page of wands pages represents communication you still have passion for this person. Page of Wands is, is a positive good news that brings passion and optimism. And many of you Geminis, you have the idea of, of the solution. You know the resolution to this issue. Or the divine has helped you and has given you an idea about how this issue could be resolved, but you lack faith. You lack faith that it's gonna work out. You lack faith that you'll get what you want. So I don't know, because you need faith to do everything. So with a lack of faith, you do nothing. Clarify the eight of, let me see. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, you're traumatized, you're paranoid, you have doubts and fears that are like haunting you. Be careful with your thoughts. Be careful with that voice that you hear in your head that's discouraging you. That's not you. That's not your heart speaking. It's fear. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. So Eight of Pentacles, um, Eight of Pentacles is someone who's doing work, like putting something together, planning something, clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles, 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 clarify the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Four of Cups, Rejection. Let me see. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Let me see. Knight of Wands. You did something recently. I feel like you 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 try to work things out with this person. You you like put you plan something here, Gemini. You're quite crafty. The magician represents Gemini, so I shouldn't be shocked that a Gemini is being crafty, right? You know how to utilize your tools and resources to get what you want, to bring your manifestations to life. So I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, you were working on something some sort of plan that perhaps it didn't fo it didn't follow through this plan here it brought you um dissatisfaction the four of cups is like reject rejection unfulfillment feeling left out in the cold so you planned something here i feel like you you did give it a try but then you you experienced rejection or the plan did not follow through if you try to get another person to speak to this individual on your behalf, it didn't work out because the divine wants you to take accountability. The divine wants you to make things right. Some of you could have tried to get like a, let me see who this Knight of Wands person is. I feel like, um, yeah, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is like swift energy, swift communication. You try to talk to this person, but I feel like you did it through someone. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Who is this Nine of Wands? Or this could be you. Let me see. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Eight of Cups and the Death. Show me who this Knight of Wands is. Look on the back, Three of Cups. You Did you use a friend to talk to this individual or a close relative to talk to this individual? Um, let me see. 
because the Eight of Cups, oops, it's out of frame, sorry. The Eight of Cups is walking away, someone who's no longer invested, you know, no longer investing their time, love, or effort into a situation. The death is an ending transformation. Who is this? Who is this Knight of Wands? Who is this Knight of Wands individual? Who is this Knight of Wands individual? Queen of Pentacles. Let me see. Knight of Pentacles. This is, see, like, this is you. I feel like, who's this? Tell us more about this Knight of Wands here. What was this plan? Yeah, Ace of, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like some of you Geminis, you could have tried to talk to this Empress here, but like, behind an anonymous account or you use a, a close friend or relative to talk to this person it's like you were hiding behind someone you were talking to this person but you were they didn't know that it was you that's not gonna work you're gonna have to put on your brave face and really confront this person okay um I clarified I clarified the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is someone who's very stable. Like you have male or female, this is your energy. You have a pentacle that you want to give to this person. You even came out as a Knight of Pentacles. You want to give stability to the, the Queen of Pentacles is all about loyalty and, and commitment. You want to give, you want to be the Queen of Pentacles to this, to this person. You want to commit to them. You're the Knight of Pentacles, slow yet steady, but that's fine. It may have taken you a long time, but slow yet steady wins the race. Look at this Ace of Pentacles. Like some of you may even have a proposal for this person or you're really going to you know ask them to commit to you and you're going to tell them that you're going to commit to them because the ace of pentacles is stability it's a divine gift that brings abundance and stability okay if you try to work things out with this person, I feel like Gemini, you did not make it clear that it was you. I feel like you did something kind of sneaky. Maybe you brought in a friend to talk to this individual, but you were the one who was like behind it all. And then you felt rejected because it didn't follow through. You may even feel like this person is fin has finally moved on and they're going towards something much better, much stable than what you had offered them in the past. If, you, if you're not going to make things right with this person, don't be shocked if they do get their Ace of Pentacles with another person. What did I say? Three of Cups. Literally, I shuffled the cards like a, literally, I just did this. Three of Cups came out and fell on my lap. They will get this eight. This is, so this is an Empress. They will find this Empress, if you won't be her emperor, she will find another emperor. She will find another divine masculine. She will get her ace of pentacles. It's just going to be with another person. Look, three of cups, third party. Another lover coming in, three of wands. She's looking towards that already because you have not come. So she's looking towards the future for someone else to come in and give her what you didn't. The opportunity is here. Like I said, you, no one can change the past. What's been done has been done, but the future can change. We can change the future by the decisions that we make in the present. So Gemini, I'm going to end it here, okay? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really hope that this gives you clarity and confirmation, especially motivation to follow your heart. Okay, thank you, Gemini. Take care.